not sure if I'd be making more money doing that or <laughs> making YouTube videos these days. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be sharing with you what we eat in a day. So we got Crystal with us. Hi. So you guys know her, she is my girlfriend and my business partner of Simonet Nutrition. But today we wanted to just like have some fun and share some like nice and warming meals with you because it is fall here and the cold weather is definitely upon us. And uh, we just wanna like spread some good vibes, some good meals, maybe have some laughs with you guys. <laughs> Usually it's a what I eat in a day video. We don't show too much of Crystal's meals, but we thought it'd be fun today to show a what we eat in a day. <laughs> so that you guys could see like how our meals differ. Usually, basically we eat pretty much the same yeah. thing, but it's sort of like, just like the toppings and like the, that sort of stuff that changes. So we'll show you guys that along the way, but we're just out here this morning, enjoying it out here because you guys can see how many nice, beautiful colors there are. We just wanted to kind of take advantage of this. Crystal really loves that tree right there. It's like super big maple tree, I think it probably is, but yeah. Such beautiful colors this time of year. So we're just out here, get warmed up. We're gonna move our bodies a little bit, do a little bit of stretching and you know, just get moving. And then uh, just so we're not like super cold going to the gym. But yeah, go to the gym. I'm gonna have a push day. What are you working on today? Uh, I mean, probably leg day, isn't it? Leg nice. day all, all day, <laughs> every Not day? for me, not for me. <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, head home, make some food and yeah, just get on with the day. So we're excited to share it with you guys. Thanks for coming along. Share some good times, some laughs. It's pretty serious out there right now in the world. And yeah, we're uh, just wanna bring you guys some joy. So Crystal has spotted the old outdoor workout spot here for seniors. So we're gonna go try and warm up on there. <laughs> Oh, let's see if I can do this. It was leg day yesterday, so I don't know if I'll be strong enough. <laughs> ah! Hey, one more try. It's hard. I feel like I get, oh, I'm getting oh, blown geez. over. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I almost did. Okay, this way. Nice, nice, nice. Leg day complete. Oh, man, how do you even? You got it. <laughs> nice. And back up. <laughs> Come on, push, push, push. I need <laughs> this leg might be a little bit better. I feel good. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that was sweet. It was like perfect. Funny that you started with your like bad leg first. No, I thought that was my good leg. Oh. <laughs> so what are you warming up? Man, my back. <laughs> <laughs> don't get, oh my gosh, don't get it too spicy. You're like spinning right around like an owl's head. What the heck? See, you can go look at you. Oh it just God. cracked like all the way up. Like, all right. Aren't nice. they supposed to have like somewhat like, like there's, resistance? There's no resistance, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, it's so weird. It's like there's only resistance until like yeah, here. Yeah. And, then just... and then it flops that way. And then you pull it here and it flops that way. Let's see one hand. Oh, pfft. I can sleep and do this. <laughs> the worst pull-up bar. Like, <laughs> why are these so angled, these things? I never understand. Get a muscle up on there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> So because we knew we were gonna be coming to the park first today and like filming and then going to work out afterwards, we knew that the day was gonna take a little bit longer so we wanted to make sure we fueled up before we came out. Mm -hmm. um, so what we both had this morning, what's been like a staple of ours for a while now, we both absolutely love it, is peanut butter and banana. But Crystal has hers on bread and I have mine on toast. <laughs> so it's like really not that big of a difference. But uh, yeah, I don't know, you just, what's up? You don't like the crunch in the morning or what? Uh, there's something about like, bread just being like soft and delicious yeah. rather than being like crunchy and hard when you toast it. I don't know. I just like having it on bread in the morning. It's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have there? Oh, this? This yeah. is nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you just pulled that out of your little bag of drinks. I know. So um, that's just a little pre-workout drink that I sometimes enjoy having. It's just um, Vivo Ooh. Life's Sustain. So like Vivo Life's BCAAs. And then I just put like a scoop of citrulline malate in there as well that's uh, good and yeah i just like like how it makes me feel it always gives me like good energy for my workouts and citrulline malate is like incredible for increasing blood flow so i always get like a really big pump and it helps me to think that i'm like bigger than i actually am so that's, <laughs> probably, that's pretty much the reason why Wait, i have I want this. more of that i want more <laughs> <laughs> i gotta get that booty pump today <laughs> So yeah, that's what we usually have before our workouts. So not every time, a lot of the time I like to work out fasted, but I know if the day is gonna, you know, if the morning's gonna drag on a little bit, I always like to have some food first. But yeah, let us know in the comments down below, what do you guys eat before your workouts? Cause we're always looking for other suggestions and I love learning what you guys have too. Oh. My arms are 
sore from my arm. Oh my god. I did dip to the gym yesterday. <laughs> Holy crap, you did it. <laughs> Yo, it's heavy, isn't it? All right, so we just got back from our workout and I think we're going to have some oatmeal. So I'm gonna make it a little bit special. I'm gonna make apple cinnamon spice oatmeal. Ooh, yeah. that sounds so good. So yeah, this is something I quite often make. I'll show you guys how I do it because it's really nice and sweet and just like, yeah, so satisfying. So what I'm gonna do first is actually just blend up some dates in water and then I'm going to cook the oatmeal in this water. It's just a really nice way of sweetening oats. And then I'm also gonna add some of this apple spice. So all that's in here is some cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, and ginger. It's a really nice, really warm mix of spices. It's like so dry, it won't mix. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, there we go. Man. It smells so good though. I know. And then I'm just gonna add the oats to this uh, spicy water. <laughs> So while the oats are just starting to cook there, we're actually going to chop up some apple and put it in there as well. So do you want to do this? That's my job. And then once the apples are all chopped up, you just fire them right in there and cook them with the oats. So ever since I was young, I've always enjoyed having milk with my oats. And I don't know if everyone's like that, but I definitely really enjoy it. And uh, I've kind of come up with this like protein milk that I make to have with them and it's so good. So let me show you guys how I make this. So I know I've shown you guys this before, but it's really simple. Just some banana in a blender. Your favorite non-dairy milk. So for this one, I'm using an unsweetened vanilla oat milk. This is by Earth's Own. And this is where the protein part comes in. I'm gonna be adding a scoop of Vivo Life Ritual. This is the vanilla flavor. It's gonna go so well with everything that we got going on here. And that's it. There you have it. Some super tasty vanilla, high protein plant milk. Is that hold on, they don't need to see that we're dirty here. What the hell? <laughs> I think that's just in there. Okay. Is that too much for you or no? No, it's good. Okay. Did you want some protein milk? I do want some protein <laughs> okay. milk. Gotta ask. <laughs> do you want to make gains? <laughs> that should have been the yes, question. Yes, please. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. All right, so we got our bowls already. It smells so good in here. I wish you guys could like smell it. It's like, um, I guess it smells like apple pie, eh? Yeah, kind of like apple pie. Wow. Okay, so these are pretty similar meals, but there is gonna be one difference. I'll show you guys what the difference is. Can you hold mine up for me, please? I, I can't really demonstrate this all anymore, hands. Uh, <laughs> so to mine, I will be adding a scoop of creatine because I try to consume creatine consistently, you know, for the gains and everything. And uh, Crystal is not into it, so. Mmm. Mmm. Creatine. <laughs> creatine milk. 
Well, we're trying to show you guys like, you know, the differences and you know, this is pretty much the only difference with this meal. So, should we try it? Yeah. Let's get a spoon. Get a spoon for me. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It tastes like, um, like a dessert. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is so good. Any thoughts? I'm really getting a, a little hit of cardamom. Yeah, there's some cardamom in there. Such a good post-workout meal. Yeah. You got your good so carbs good. in there. You could even like, mm. probably, you know what it kind of needs actually, now that you mention it, it kind of does need some fats. Okay. Okay. Oh, did you hurt yourself? Is your... It's not chip. It's still there. It's, it's not chip. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I do that? So one quick uh, game time decision here. We're actually going to add some hemp seeds as well because Crystal was mentioning how good of a post-workout meal it was and I was right. thinking in my head, wait, it's not quite complete without some healthy fats. Nice. You want to give me a little sprinkle? Oh, look at that. <laughs> yes. So yeah, hope you guys got some ideas from this. Like these are all really great flavors together. If you don't have mm -hmm. hemp seeds, you could probably throw some walnuts in there as well. That'd be mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. We're going to go sit down, enjoy this and do some work and then we'll come back we'll make some lunch yeah and then we'll keep going with the day <laughs> all right so we're back in the kitchen here we're gonna make some lunch so i think we've decided we're gonna have uh, like a miso and veggie soup yeah so it should be like really quick and easy to make uh let's yeah let's just get going with it oh my gosh these are like the tiniest garlic cloves i've ever seen <laughs> what the heck oh this is so finicky okay it's fine everyone always asks why do you use garlic powder Right there, that's the reason why. <laughs> so I've just started by chopping up some fresh garlic and some fresh onion, and I'm just gonna put that right into the bottom of the pot that we're gonna cook all this soup with and just give it a quick little saute. And then I'm just gonna add a splash of vegetable broth to just kinda get everything cooking. So while that's sauteing, I'm just gonna take this time and prepare the veggies that we're putting in there really quickly because this is a really fast meal and especially if you use your time wisely like this. So first I'm just gonna uh, wash the veggies, then I'm gonna really quickly chop up some purple cabbage, some bok choy, and then I'm gonna shred some carrot to go on there too. So now that these are sauteed and we've got the veggies prepared, I'm just gonna add a bunch of veggie broth to this. This is pretty much gonna be like the broth for the soup, but we are gonna be adding some miso as well to kind of like add a little bit more salt to it because this is like pretty plain. It's the low sodium veggie broth, but it's a good base. And then I just added some water uh, just because like veggie broth like six dollars a carton so i was just feeling a little conscious of the finances you know <laughs> the views are down guys the views are down so while we're waiting for the soup to boil we are going to try this new smoked tofu that we found at the local health food store which is really awesome because we haven't been able to find smoked tofu for the last i don't know nine months <laughs> a long time yeah exactly there's been a smoked tofu shortage so this stuff is really cool because it is actually made locally. So it's made on Salt Spring Island, which is a place that we visit at least once a year. Maybe not this year. Yeah, yeah but we try. <laughs> but we try. And so let's let's give it a little taste test. Yeah, I'm really so excited. We will be putting this into the soup, but we thought it'd be fun to yeah. like try it on its own first. Yo, I but missed smoked no. tofu. It's so good. I think this is better though than the other one. I wouldn't complain if the other one came back on the shelves. Sunrise organic tofu. But, wow, yeah, it's super good. I gotta eat the whole block. So, this is definitely good if you guys see this in the stores. I know you'll be able to find this though because it is such a local product. Like, Salt Spring Island is such a small island. Like, there's probably only like, I don't know, a few thousand people that live there. But hey, maybe they're just taking over the market. I don't know, you know? smoking lots of stuff over there though. <laughs> So now that the broth is just starting to boil, we're gonna fire in the noodles. And we're actually using these like uh, millet and brown rice ramen noodles. So we find these at Costco. They're actually like pretty affordable. Very similar to like, well, very similar to like a Mr. Noodles kind of thing, but uh, obviously like a little bit healthier than Mr. Noodles. So we'll probably do one each, two of those. Sure. Mm. It's ready. <laughs> I'll burn myself. I, I have to once every single vlog I have to burn myself. It's your problem. So with these you actually kind of it's best to put in a little bit of work and break them apart because if you don't do it manually they kind of just like stay in a clump. It's not what we're looking for. Okay. Wow. So it's about halfway through the cooking process right now. So we're just gonna add 
the bok choy so it gets cooked down a little bit. So I just nabbed a little bit of the veggie broth to mix up some of this miso with because you guys always give me crap when I put miso in my boiling soup. So today I'm doing it a different way. So we're just mixing it up there and then we're gonna add it to our bowls at the end. So I'm just quickly cutting up some green onion to put on top of the soup. Now here's the miso edition. So now all that's left is just for us to like build our bowls. So I'm gonna start with some of this. But what I'm gonna put on mine, and Crystal definitely is not gonna put on hers, <laughs> are these nori sheets. So I like to just cut up a couple. You're getting all your nori, nori dust <laughs> My stuff, can you not? So if you couldn't tell, Crystal is not a fan of nori. No, just, I don't. Just try it, just no, smell it. No. Just smell it, it's like the ocean, that's the... Oh God, it smells so bad. It's the worst, I just, I can't handle seaweed. <laughs> it's just, no. But I'm happy that you like it, that's nice for you. Yeah, you know, well my thyroid's all healthy and I'm getting all types <laughs> of iodine, you're over here. It's not, I don't, whatever. I got my own ways, I got my own ways. <laughs> So as you guys know or have just seen, I am not a huge fan of seaweed, which kind of sucks because seaweed is a huge, huge source of iodine in the diet. If you guys are not eating seaweed, you should. But because I don't like seaweed, <laughs> um, I do supplement iodine and I think that is totally okay. Like if there is something out there that is a high source of nutrients and mm. you're not going to eat it, Make sure you take a supplement, it's just so important. Another thing Derek likes to add is this kimchi that we buy. It's from the company Wild Brine. Um, and I don't add it because it definitely wild brines my stomach, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and it's pretty spicy as well. It is, it is not good for me, but Derek loves it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just make sure that I don't <laughs> spill on myself, you know, because this is soupy. Don't <laughs> look at me like that. <laughs> so yeah, our bowls are all ready. We're gonna give it a taste, let you guys know how it is. Oh my God, it's so hot. Yeah, it's customary to burn yourself though, you know that. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Mm. Okay. Really good. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's kimchi spicy. <clears throat> it bit my neck. Ah. It got him, it got him. So yeah, super good. The broth is not like overly strong or anything like that, but it's kind of nice when you have like all these other flavors in there just to not have like this super salty, like overpowering broth. I forgot hot sauce. <laughs> what the heck is my broth? Ooh, some hot sauce on there. The crunch from the raw veggies is really nice. It's, yeah, it is. Look at this bite, the seaweed on there. <laughs> Wow, that was like 17 sheets all in one. <laughs> that was a little, even a little much for me. It was a lot. I looked at it, I was like, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So, I think we're gonna go sit down, hang out for a little bit, and then, yeah. I don't know if we're gonna get up to anything or whatever. It's getting dark pretty quickly, but um, if not, we'll see you guys back in here for dinner. Delicious. So we just finished making dinner and we made these amazing bowls. So uh, I guess these are kind of like Buddha bowls, are they? Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, we put a whole bunch of things together here. So uh, we'll first explain what we have and then we'll show you guys how we've made everything. Crystal kind of spearheaded this one because uh, yeah, she was feeling like, I don't know, I was cooking too many of the meals. <laughs> she, she didn't want you guys thinking she was lazy or I did all the cooking or anything like that. So. Uh, yeah, what, what do we all have like going on here, Crystal? So we have a chickpea lentil saute, mm -hmm. and then we have some leftover quinoa that we heated up, and then we have some of these kale and quinoa bites that we just kind of fried up in the air fryer just, you know, for fun. We've never really had them before, so. And then Derek made a super delicious sauce. So yeah, let's uh, show you guys how we made all this and how we put it together. So we started this meal off by chopping up half a white onion and we're gonna just saute the onion in a little bit of the sauce. 
So while the onion is sautéing, I'm going to cut up some fresh vegetables. So for this meal, we're going to have some raw red cabbage on the side, and we're also going to have some kale that we're going to sauté uh, closer to the end when everything is almost done. I, know, I can't even open my goddamn eyes. Why is this onion so strong? I don't so know why the onion is so strong. Anyways, so while the onion is sautéing, we are going to get the chickpeas and lentils ready, and then I'm going to ask Derek to start heating up the quinoa. Nice. Because oh, yeah. we have some leftover quinoa that we're going to have with this bowl. And it's just so easy to make a lot of quinoa and have it as leftovers. And so we're going to reuse that today. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> I helped. He helped. And since the onions are nice and sauteed down, we are going to add the chickpeas and lentils. So I'm just going to add some frozen peas. So I'm going to add a little bit of Briggs because uh, Derek can't handle things without seasoning. So I'm just going to add a little bit of Briggs. I'm just kidding. It tastes good. It tastes good. So while everything is sautéing, I've asked Derek to make a sauce because he is the sauce master as you guys all know. Yeah, it's probably like my favorite part of making dinner actually. <laughs> I just love putting together sauces. Uh, so I'm going to make a tahini based sauce. This is like a pretty simple one. It's going to be like a sweet lemon tahini kind of thing. So I'll show you guys how I make it. So you are going to need a blender for this sauce because we're using dates to sweeten it. However, if you don't want to use a blender, you could always just use maple syrup to sweeten this one. So two dates, just about a cup of water. Oh, we gotta get this label nice because look at this special tahini we're using. This is liquid gold. I don't know if you guys know, but this is Miles from Healthy Crazy Cool. This is his brainchild right here. So it's actually pretty awesome. He sent this to us. So we're gonna be using a whole bunch of this in here. <laughs> it's probably pretty sacrilegious to add it to water, but don't worry, it's all gonna come together. <laughs> Some spicy brown mustard, garlic powder, pepper. Oh, it says chili. It says chili. Oh yeah, okay, it's pepper, trust me. <laughs> pepper. A few pinches of salt. That was so much salt. <laughs> uh, no, because we're making, this dressing is going to be for like, you know, hopefully multiple days. That's the goal. So I'm making a bunch of it. This isn't all for dinner tonight. And then I'm going to be using the juice from a lemon, but I'm also going to be using some of the... What is this called again? Skin. Skin. Peel? Peel. Rind. Rind. And this just gives it like a really lemony flavor. Like the, the actual lemon juice gives it a bit of acidity, but it's actually like the rind that gives it like a really good flavor. So I'll just put a few of these slices in there. Just chopping it up a bit helps the blender out because it doesn't always get all that. So it's all ready, and I'm just gonna give it a. T we're gonna give it a taste to see how it is. Oh wow, it's really creamy. Yeah, it's like actually way thicker than I thought. I thought I messed it up with all that water. Wow. Mm, good. Wow, that's so good. It is. So we'll just put this aside until everything else is done. But it's coming together quickly. So now we just have to add the kale to yes, the stir the fry. Yes, the kale needs to go in. Yep. Awesome. So it looks like everything's done. So it's just time to build our bowl. So yeah, we've got everything laid out and we actually have this as well, which we didn't show you guys, but we actually cooked these in the air fryer. And this is uh, something new for us. We just saw them in the store the other day and we'd never tried them. We thought it'd be fun to try them here with you guys today. So I don't know, do you want to try them right now? Yeah. yeah. They're kale and quinoa bites, yeah. which is hilarious because that's kind of like what we're having that is kind of funny, <laughs> for hey? dinner, but they're supposed to be Bombay flavor, hmm. like a curry, so. Oh wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Mm. I like them. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I'd say like a, out of 10, like, an, like a seven or eight, like mm -hmm. they're good. All right, so it's all ready. Our bowls are beautifully put together. I got all the B-roll I need, the pictures <laughs> for the thumbnail. Let's get into this. I'm so hungry. So what are you gonna try first? This the stir fry me yeah. too with the sauce. Oh gosh, it's gonna be good. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. I like it. You guys have to make that sauce. Mm. It's so good. I mean, you can't really go wrong. I know that we didn't really have measurements, but no. honestly, you just throw all those ingredients together. <laughs> so good. 
Yeah, not much to say about it. A lot of different flavors. I love dinners like this. You guys mm -hmm. know this. Like, just all these different little flavors you get to put together. And man, just so good. Super delicious. One thing though I forgot was to add some flaxseed. Nice. I love adding ground flaxseed, especially to like savory meals. I wasn't able to add it to the soup we had earlier today because that would have been a mess. But ground flax is just amazing <laughs> for health, has so many benefits, really great for hormone health as well. So I yeah. usually add like a good spoonful and I mix it together and I think it's really good. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have it in like my smoothies and in my oatmeal and stuff like that, but I'm not a huge fan. I don't know. Here, I'll put some on there. I feel like, <laughs> like what? Now I'm going to be like omega-3 deficient or something. <laughs> All right, so do you want to go sit down and eat? I am starving. <laughs> yes, I do. So I think that's probably it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas out of it. If not, at least some entertainment from us. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe so you can see more from us. Like the video because it helps us out in the algorithms. And yeah, we will see you soon with another video. Anything to add? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, what we both eat in a day. Nice. All right. See you guys soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Always more sauce. <laughs> wow. Yep. Is it just me or does that tree look perfect for climbing. Oh no!